First thing in the morning here in Australia, I always tune in to overnight news from the United States to find out, oh, what now? But this morning an item came up that really made me bury my head in my hands. A potentially cancer-causing chemical could be in your cup. A judge in Los Angeles has ruled that coffee shops like Starbucks have to warn you that roasting coffee beans produces the chemical acrylamide. Acrylamide forms when amino acids and sugars react together at temperatures over 120 degrees centigrade. It's known as the Maillard reaction, and it's common in starchy processed foods like French fries and bread, but it also occurs in roasted coffee beans. So far, epidemiological studies have found no link between coffee and cancer in humans. That doesn't mean there isn't one, it just means no link has been found. Most health organisations say acrylamide is probably or reasonably anticipated or likely to be a carcinogen in humans, but they don't see just coffee as the culprit. It's the ubiquity of acrylamide in processed foods. But in high doses, acrylamide has been found to cause cancer in mice. Yes, indeed. But the doses given in these studies were a 1,000 to 10,000 times higher than humans would consume in the same time period. And even higher if you just take coffee on its own. So if you're worried about acrylamide, and maybe you should be, then coffee is the least of your worries. Stop eating bread, cookies, potato chips, breakfast cereals and french fries. Or just eat them in moderation, because even taken collectively, you'd have to have a pretty unhealthy diet to even begin to approach the kinds of doses of acrylamide that laboratory rats and mice were fed. I looked at a number of different studies that quantify the amounts of acrylamide in various foods, and coffee is much lower than a lot of everyday foods the average person consumes. Unfortunately, the law doesn't necessarily conform to scientific norms or common sense. The law requires that Starbucks, the lead defendant in the suit, had to show that coffee posed no risk and wouldn't cause one or more cases of cancer for every 100,000 people. So although there's no evidence that coffee is harmful, that's not enough for the courts. The coffee companies have to show that it's not harmful. Some have accused lawyers of taking advantage of the state regulation, which includes exemptions for some chemicals that occur naturally in uncooked food, for settlement money. Oh gee, do you think? Just to declare my non-interest, I don't own shares in Starbucks or any coffee companies, and to redress the balance and eliminate any perception of bias, I'd just like to add that Starbucks coffee tastes like shit. I asked a friend of mine living in the US why Americans are so enamoured with Starbucks, and he said they'd spent so many decades drinking stewed day-old coffee out of brewing pots that when crap coffee came along, they thought it was drinkable. But anyway, back to the science. It may not be the judge's fault. After all, he has to follow the letter of the law, and the letter of the law was not the result of well-thought-out science-based legislation. It was the result of Proposition 65, proposed by people with a bad idea and voted for by people with no idea. Well, you don't want food legislation to be drafted by elitists who pass their chemistry and medical degrees, do you? So you get what you wish for. Labelling known carcinogens is fine. The problem with this silly law is that it casts its net so wide that known carcinogens that really are cancerous get buried under the weight of relatively safe foods and drinks burdened with similar labels. How are ordinary consumers supposed to know the difference? Appreciative of the fact that they let you know and then you make a decision. Know what, Erica? That the law supposes coffee might give you cancer when researchers have found no evidence of that? Then I guess Mr Bumble said it best in the Dickens novel Oliver Twist. If the law supposes that, said Mr Bumble, squeezing his hat emphatically in both hands, the law is a ass, a idiot.